Well, hello folks, this is Jamil Sir for Gunstock Reviews. We're here in Phoenix, Arizona at the World Headquarters of Enlo Custom Guns with Marty. How you doing, buddy? Good. Marty, um, you already uh, worked on this new Colt Anaconda. Mm -hmm. And one of the features of the new Colt Anaconda is because it's drill and tap for um, a scope base. Sight base, yeah. Yeah, and it's kind of cool because it has, you know, two, hole, two holes that are uh, covered by set screws and one that is hiding down there. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to install the set site. Um, Colt is going to be selling these on their website. Mm -hmm. And this one came from Colt. Uh, I bet there's going to be tons of them made by other manufacturers. Sure. So yeah. we can put a scope, like a standard pistol scope on it. Or a or, red dot or sight. Yeah. Which is what I'm going to put on it. Okay. So, uh, Colt, of course, I'm going to open it, give it to you safe. And I'd like you to install the base on it for me. Okay, so now what we gotta do is uh, we're gonna take our base and we're gonna install it on our site here, but uh, or at least on our frame. We've gotta remove our two plug screws and we also have to remove the rear sight assembly, right? So this is gonna kinda swing around, but we know the gun's unloaded, so I'm just gonna put this back down just, just for the sake of uh, holding it. Now, a bench block is helpful, right? Just to, just to have floating around just for any reason, right? But uh, first thing we're going to do is we want to grab the right size screwdriver and we're going to use these uh, magnet tip uh, screwdrivers, right? And we're just going to remove the, the first two set screws, right? We want those to be properly fit because one thing I don't want to like scratch the frame as this comes out, so we don't want something that's too wide. And I thought that would just pop out, but maybe not. This is fairly loose. Wow. Feels like it's going to pop right out, but uh, it... Well, that, fr I, I that frame is really thick, so. It is, it is. And they do have some Loctite on it, but they're actually they're coming out really easy. But. Again, I fired it with 44, four house 44 Magnum rounds. Uh, yeah, Loctite is not gonna hold too much up there. So, I'm gonna leave the rear sight in here, and actually now I'm gonna open the cylinder just for this reason, right? Um, because the frame, and actually I'll hold it on this bench block I, here I'll a little bit. I'll hold it for you. Um, but. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of just get this over here to the side here and I'm going to tap this. I'm using a 16th inch roll pin punch and I'm just going to tap this thing out and take that rear sight pin out. And then I'm going to switch off. I'm going to save our pin here. I'm going to switch out to a correct size screwdriver for the rear sight. And you're Hearing some detents in there, there's some spring detents in there, and there's some springs underneath the site, or at least there is a spring. Um, so I just want to keep track of those in the event that you want to switch back to this one day. And then uh, if, I, if I look here, right, I have my three screw holes match up, and then I have my rear sight gone as well. So what we're going to do from here, I'm just going to set this down here one more time. I'm going to put a little blue Loctite on the screws, just, as, just a drop, right, nothing, nothing too big. And I just kind of, I always kind of just put a little extra from what I got. You can see I don't have a ton on here, but just enough to say I put Loctite on it. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to start the base on the site. And you see that the back of the, the back of the base lines up with the back of the frame. And it has this little cutout here. And we want to make sure those just kind of sit nicely in there. And you see our holes line up. So I'm going to fish the first screw in there and take a Torx head and start the screws. Good. Now from here, I'm going to tighten down these set screws. I don't need to gorilla these on here, right? Because it's aluminum base, but I'm using just the tips of my fingers, but if you're going fishing for a torque spec, if you're looking for one, you're going to go somewhere around and somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 inch pounds, inch pounds, right? So coming in here, and I'm just doing this by hand, right? But fairly snug to the point where they're just not moving, and they look good. So that was pretty simple, and now you can run whatever sight you want on there, red dot or scope, but that is how you install your rear sight or your Colt Anaconda sight base. Okay, that's awesome, Marty. That's great, man. This is 
fantastic. Now we got to uh, select a red dot for it. Yeah. I know there's a big selection of pistol um, scopes out there, mm -hmm. magnification scopes, but I'm not going to be hunting with it. Mm -hmm. You know, I do all my hunting a safe way. So it's, it's a whole lot easier that way. Um, but I'm going to put a red dot on it mm -hmm. and then sight it in about 25 yards mm -hmm. and, you know, go bang some steel with it. Yeah. It'll be fun. Yeah. And yeah, it was great, ready to go. So let's do it. So guys, thank you, Marty. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for being here with us, guys. And remember, guys, please stay healthy, be safe, and have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.